realm and all, everything else that is involved in Parnassah, we can surely spend uh, three to five minutes in the morning just saying a special prayer for Parnassah, asking God to help us, to support us, to give us everything we need. And then you can go about your business. That is called uh, Emona. And in Tzchus of uh, Emona, then we see uh, when we pre- appreciate the good things of life and uh, come back to the world where we'll see the real center of Ashiras, the center of wealth, will be restored, and that is the temple. Ultimately, the temple is the, 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 the place where wealth is really fit for the glory of God. And when we devote all of our possessions and wealth to magnifying the glory of God, we shall enjoy the true goodness. Thank you so much, Rabbi Gimbal. So if anybody would like to uh, raise any point, ask a question, yes. It seems to me like the antithesis of the, of the Yei Sahara for about the Zara through, through money is Seichel. Um, and Rabbeinu Yonah says you, you should utilize Seichel when you give to duck. So with that preface, I'd like to... Uh, I, um, I'd like to ask you about this whole culture of collectors. Um, it seems like it's an, inver- an inversion of the human soul. Here the person who's a pauper is actually making his entire endeavor just to collect money, and he is bringing this kind of a vodazar onto himself as, a, as, as, you know, it's inverted, but he's supposed to be the Makabel, being Makabel a mitzvah, but instead he's bringing upon himself this avodazar by by having this occupation of collecting. What I'm suggesting is that that uh, this whole culture of collecti- collecting is a repudiation of everything you said tonight, and that tzedakah should be distributed to organizations with seichel, basically, um, and then when we'll, we will be giving tzedakah with seichel. And that will be the real antithesis of, of, of collection. You know, the I mean, of, of, of those that are of money. Masakas Shabbos opens up with the classic situation of Stakra. First mission of Masakas Shabbos is the Asha of the Ami, the rich man in the poor man. And the rich man is inside his house, the poor man is there, but it's Arab Shabbos, just to, to and the, the, the four the situations in the mission are the. Uh, the rich man is giving out the bread to the poor man, or the poor man is reaching in, uh, and uh, is this the Islam on, Shab- on Shabbos? So here the Torah is, uh, the Torah Shabbat is taking back, us back to the absolute simplicity of the true tzedakah relationship. I mean, all the questions in that Mishnah are because can you hand over the bread on Shabbos? But the, the essential situation is one of tzedakah. And we will learn that even if it's tzedakah, you can't. Uh, cross the uh, the boundaries from Rosh Hashanah to Rosh Hashanah mm-hmm. Now, uh, the situation there has nothing to do with uh, organizations. It has nothing to do with uh, IRS tax numbers. It has nothing to do with uh, with registered charities. It has to do with uh, a man who is in need. He's starving. He doesn't have what to eat. And he comes to uh, the house of a Balabais. The Balabais of the Gunsif's heart wants to give him to eat. And that is the 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 real uh, as it were yardstick of Stockholm and um, today of course in the complicated world we live everything has become so incredibly complicated let me give some examples Rambam was totally against the concept of people learning Tyra through receiving contributions from others Rambam was one of the champions of Tyra in Derech Eretz he writes clearly in Hilchus uh, Talmud Torah that a person should uh, work and learn. And he says that he should work actually for three hours a day and learn for nine hours a day. Now, that for the average Yehudi today living in this huge slave camp called uh, uh, North America or in uh, the slave camp uh, called the Tel Aviv Strip, how can he possibly do this? I mean, uh, in Israel it's an impossibility to be a Talmud Chochem and to work. It's literally, they've made it impossible because uh, the moment you, uh, you work, oh, you remember to decide to go to the army. And uh, if you don't want to go to this uh, army that turns, uh, turns the believing Jews into uh, pleasure-loving atheists, if you don't want to do that, uh, and you want to go to yeshiva, so uh, you, never, you can't get the qualifications that would enable you to work in the wider economy. It's, uh, I mean, it's a, a long parasha that I've just opened up. 
but uh, I would be willing to uh, to argue and to explain that <coughs> unfortunately the, the whole goal of that is in Eretz Yisrael today, which is part of what you're calling the collective culture, is one where the 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 the, 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 the way the society is, is pushing people into a place where 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 there is a need to sustain the community of of Torah students through an apparition uh, an apparatus of, of funding, and this has been going on in Eretz Yisrael for hundreds of years. It was known, I mean, in the time of the Balatanya, 300 years, uh, 200, uh, 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 over 200 years ago, there were Mishulachim who were coming from Israel back to Poland and Russia to collect money for the issue. It's a very traditional thing. What we're seeing now, I mean, the, you know, the, the innocent residents of uh, Barra Park and Flatbush are seeing every night, a, uh, you know, if you don't disconnect your doorbell, and you don't put, the, you've got a continuous, you know, it used to be, I don't know what's going on right now, I know just a few months ago that people always complaining that every night we have, you know, 16, 20, 13 Mishulachim coming to the door. What am I supposed to do? It's a tremendous test and leads to tremendous resentment. But, uh, I, 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 don't, I can't say I have a solution to the situation because part of the problem is Tzorchi Amachom Ruben. But I can uh, guarantee you that many of these people who are coming to ask for money are asking for very worthy causes, more than the community has to sustain. Can I just go on for a little? I yeah. just want to say one thing, you know, you know, but it, uh, you, know, you said that, you said that man, a man is responsible for his own faith. The army it's not an excuse to say you're going to hide in yeshiva, but the army is a corrupting influence. A man is ultimately responsible. I'd well, 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 well that, that, that's, uh, so, I, mean, I mean, I don't get too yeah. caught. Th- th- there are many valid things that you're saying, and there are many valid points on both sides of this yeah. discussion. It's a very long discussion. Right. It's not at all a simple decision. I'm not trying to justify. Uh, I mean, the, the, the spitz of your question is, well, here is a guy who has turned himself into a professional snare, a professional mishulach, and what kind of a voz there are, is this? And it is very serious. I mean, uh, I think that uh, having had some experience of, uh, of being on the road collecting and have, having met mishulach, and there are some who turn it mamish into a horrible sort of uh, uh, a, a thing that ha- doesn't have anything to do with the, the simplicity of this tzedakah of Masech Shabbos as an usher and an ani. It becomes, you know, smoothness and uh, Slick, uh, sort of the, the promotions and the, I mean, the amount of money that goes in. I mean, why talk only about the Mishulachim of Israel? Talk about the uh, the uh, the moisters here and the dinners. I mean, uh, you know, a charity dinner is such a crazy phenomenon. It's a crazy concept. Here, people are coming to be fated on, uh, you know, uh, huge uh, 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 meals that nobody needs. That nobody, they're all overweight anyway. <laughs> so, uh, who needs all of this? So, 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 what is going on here? You have to make a dinner to persuade people to. to to give charity, and there's another problem also, which is that uh, how many Yidden are Shomotar mitzvahs? And how much money is in the hands of all those guys who are giving massive sums of money to like animal cemeteries and animal, you know, veterinary homes and operas and art galleries and so on? So uh, all this, this money that is in the hands of Yidden who are, who are fry, uh, is, uh, is, 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 is resulting in a situation where the, uh, the people who are supporting the moisters, the, t- the, the real uh, yeshivas, are having to carry the burden that should be spread much more widely over the whole community. So there's a whole throng uh, of bayot, a whole, a whole pack of problems that, that uh, I don't know, I, can, I mean... Uh, Hundreds of years ago, the the uh, the Rabbanim of Europe made uh, takanot about the uh, that weddings may not go beyond a certain level of extravagance. You may not have more, than, and and uh, who pays attention to this? I mean, it, it, uh, there are problems everywhere. And the only uh, particular I can say is to spread more this idea of the stapkus of being content with what you have, of praying over your needs and receiving those blessings with gratitude. A very, very complicated situation. Yes? Um, this is on there. One of my rabbis just um, say that an acronym for the word Ashir, um, rich, uh, stands for Ayan is for Anayan, 
Shin is for Shinai. 